Motivation is crap. It's shit. People right now, maybe listening to this shit, they'll be motivated to go run. If it's cold somewhere where they're at, a lot of my friends will shut that door, go back inside. That's motivation. It comes and go as how you feel. If you and your wife are good, if you and your kids are good, if you're good at work, you're motivated. I like the mo whose life is imploded. Ain't got shit in life and says, still got to get after it today, man. Yeah. I don't care how good you are in anything. You don't have discipline. You ain't nobody. Right. Nothing without discipline. Because you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. 100%. I mean, discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Those I can't catch a break guys. Yeah. Get them the f away from me. I can't. I can't be around those guys. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't buy it. Because everybody has bad breaks. Yeah. I've had a shit ton of bad breaks. But you know what I did? I, I stayed up. Yeah. And I thought through it. And I and I figured out what the f I did wrong. And then I went back. After a while, even if they're your good friend, you got to be like, bro, you got to fucking stop. You gotta stop with all this I can't catch a break bullshit. All the time you're complaining, you could be instead hustling. You could be instead chasing your dream. You could be instead figuring out what you're doing wrong, trying to improve certain aspects of your life, getting your shit together, reading a book, meditating, something. Fucking something. But this I can't catch a break shit is not helping anybody, and it pushes everybody away from you. Get back to work. It's time to get back to work. Stop hearing yourself talk, get off the podcast, don't be on social media too much. Cut out all the fucking noise. Get back to the fucking mental lab. Because that's where the knowledge came from. You want to become best. You want to become champion. And now you want to say like you're tired? Mm. Who cares? You're tired or not? Nobody cares about you. He was tired. He had personal problems. Family. Nobody cares. You're going to lose sleep. You'll doubt whether it'll work. You'll stress to make ends meet. You won't finish your to-do list. You'll wonder whether you made the right call and have no way to know. For years. This is what hard feels like, and that's okay. Everything worth doing is hard, and the more worth doing it is, the harder it is. The greater the payoff, the greater the hardship. If it's hard, good. It means no one else will do it. More for you. I get happier about the harder it is because I know that no one else will follow. It's a selection effect. And I think if you can if you can shift from this is hard to no one else will be able to do this then it, it's, it flips from being this thing that you're like oh poor me to oh poor everyone else who's going to have to fucking try yeah. and I think that is so much more motivating as a frame for the exact same circumstance